Would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? 7.33 p.m. on the dot. Heading to kickboxing class, but we're enjoying our little pre-workout drink that we found dumpster diving at Vitamin Shop. Thank you, Vitamin Shop. Let's get going. It's time to sweat. Guys, let me show you the last one. Watch it. Using momentum. Woo! I did 100 before Coach told me to stop because I had so much energy. <laughs> Look at Coach. Look. Liar! Alright, guys, so this is how you take out your opponent, right? Someone's robbing you at the ATM and you start going like this. And they're like, what are you doing? Just give me your money. You're like, hold on a second. You start dancing and then you're like, bam! If Take you my money. But you only do that after Coach, coach Ray, Ray Co, Raquel, after Coach Rocket's class. You can only do that after Coach Rocket's class. <laughs> Coach Rocky in the house. Future Hall of Famer UFC Team Rocky. Hey, would you look at that? Back in the car, showered up, looking absolutely spot on fresh. Heading to the airport to go pick up my guy that was about here. Eh, it was about a month ago or so. Was making a little bit extra cheese traveling him around town. And that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. Gonna head to the airport, grab him, go to Walmart, go pick up some essentials for him, for his hotel room while he's down here doing business. And it's always a pleasure because Big Daddy makes a little bit of extra cheese, which we're gonna stash away again, remember, for the drone fund. Tomorrow is a very special day, my friends. Tomorrow is October, no, September 27th tomorrow. And tomorrow they're unveiling the DJI Mavic, my friends, the foldable one that is supposed to compete against GoPros. GoPro won't release their drone till the 23rd. Also, the Hero 5, brand new GoPro. I'm absolutely looking forward to this. If DJI Mavic does not pull specs like GoPro, I will definitely buy the GoPro bundle when it comes out with the Hero 5 Black Edition. And it's about $10.99, $1,099 for the uh, full-blown Black Edition with the drone and the stabilizer. You could go $100 less for $1,999 and you could get the Session 5. So we'll see. Both have voice command, which is absolutely spot on. So literally, if I'm mountain biking down a mountain, I say, GoPro, start recording. Instead of like a sick downhill and you're like, ah, where's my button? You know what I'm saying? Trust me, I mean, it still works. I've done it back in my Moab trip with my three plus black edition, but I'm looking forward to the GoPro for sure. So we'll see what DJI can do. See if Mavic can compete. If not, we're gonna have to touch base with my regular that I used to transport. She had pull at GoPro. And let's see if I can get my friends and family discount. That would be sweet. Nine fifty-six p.m. Plane comes in in eight minutes. I think we got this. Let's hope for the best. Now this guy is over here is a new development. I have not dived this area right here. I don't know if those are apartments or condos. It looks kind of like apartments, so maybe I should try to dive that. Again, that's a new community. Sometimes with those new communities, you know, people have already plopped themselves in there. You do find stuff when they move in, but again, most of the stuff is when they move out, to tell you the truth, because they just don't want to take it with them. There's just too much stuff. So we might go check that out. Now, if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you guys saw, and I mentioned it, I didn't really show it too much, but it was in the back of the stack during that one aisleway shot, an original fat PS3. You're like, Chris, why didn't you show us the PS3? Like, what's the deal? Why are you making us wait? Well, guys, I give teasers for the vlog, but the full blown episodes are trash treasure. I'm gonna show that to you, don't you worry about that. And it's not just the original Fat PS3. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a game console haul in that same bin. 
and I'm glad I didn't just grab it because I saw some cables for the PS3 and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna rummage through it. I'm just gonna grab the whole thing. It was late and I was like, let's just do it. So I loaded the whole thing up and there were some nice scores in there, my friends. There were some nice scores in there. So definitely stay tuned for that newest episode coming out. I will right, we'll take a ticket, my friend. Thank you. Let's see if my VIP parking spot is open, my friends. Yep, that one right there. It says Cristoforo. You may park here. Thank you. Well, technically this Audi is in it, but you know, it is what it is. It is, well actually that's a little tight. What's the synopsis? I don't know about this Audi. I'm kind of, whoa, hey, what's that? Little blacked out rims there, huh? Is that a Ford? I'll tell you what, they don't make parking spaces like they used to. Don't matter, because I'm looking good, feeling good. I'm like Jason Statham. Look at that suit. What's going on guys? Current time 137 as we go over some bumps in the morning. 138 now in the morning. We finished up for the evening time and now guess where we're gonna go? Boom! That's what I'm talking about guys. We're definitely gonna take a little sneak peek behind Office Depot because trash day I think is tomorrow so we want to make sure we try to capitalize on anything they're trying to throw away tonight and we're also gonna go back to where the PS3 was before we get on home because sometimes, again, they definitely double dip. And also, there was one box, if it's still there, I wanna check for video games. I saw a stack of loose discs. A lot of them were just regular, like, burn CD discs. Another big coyote right there, guys. And then his buddy went right over here, right, right over here by the sign. He's going back and forth, back and forth, right there. Right there, guys. Let me zoom in here. Oh, oh, oh. there's his buddies, guys. Right there, right there. That's one, oh, oh my gosh, there's a third. There's a third, guys, right here. He's being cautious. He's right there, guys. There's number three. One, and then two, three right there. Coyotes in the wild, baby. Yes. What's crazy, guys, is that's literally a couple hundred feet from the entrance to the gym. <laughs> Coyotes just chilling out in the wild, man, in the middle. It's like 1.48 in the morning, but they're right there, man, right there. A couple hundred feet away from the entrance of the gym, some beefcake walks out, you know what I'm saying, flexing, all of a sudden coyotes go, <laughs> and the guy's like, <laughs> he's screaming. He's like, mommy, and I'm like, yo, box him off, son. Man, that's the ticket. Okay, good news, guys. That little coyote detour threw off security. He actually was back here, which is, well, it might be his typical time. I'm hoping he doesn't double back again. He was out front seeing what these workers were up to in front of near Vitamin Shop. So I skipped Vitamin Shop, heading to Office Max, Office Depot right now. We're hoping he doesn't double back, so let's go quick. There's some nice wood if you're into wood. Looks like our diver's been here. The cans of that are opened up. This one I always cruise by slow. There's really nothing there too much anymore. These are the ones I'm after right here, guys. Let's roll. Well, guys, there's a really nice like display rack type thing here, like plexiglass, steel railing all the way up here. And they definitely look like probably back to school organization stuff. This thing is just crazy, crazy stacked here. Some bubble wrap here. Here's the broken little thing that you kind of tote around back to school. Nothing really much in there. I think they're gonna probably wait till this is emptied before they do dump anything good. I'm gonna look under here a little bit, kind of dirty though. I am dressed nice right now, so, and again, I don't know where they're throwing their ink away anymore. Bunch of paper in that one, guys, look at that. So let's go ahead and get underneath here, and if I see anything, I'll film it real quick. Guys, there's my boy right there, I gotta go quick. Well, he did double back, but I was out of there pretty quickly. Well, guys, again, back at the complex with the PS3 original, there's a nice little kind of old school Ikea type of a uh, little dresser there. Two drawers on the top, missing out of the top, obviously, because it's lighter when they carry it down. Stack it up right in front of the dumpster, that looks real nice there guys has the nice little ikea little hooks that you pull out you know and then you kind of slide back that's pretty cool for like definitely some nice storage garage storage for sure well the trash men have come but the next can we're gonna go to right now is gonna be the can where i grabbed the original ps3 fat so we're hoping that that stuff is still in the walkway i'm probably to be honest with you it's either inside the can uh or it's still there but i highly doubt it but anyway it's on my way home. I might as well take a couple extra minutes, swing by this complex again, and see what we can find. So this is live with you guys right now. Windows are up so I can talk loud. Let's whip around 
and let's peer on in. Looks like, oh, awesome guys. They dump more stuff. Two bar stools, one right there, one inside the can, and then that sweet like Japanese lantern light. Oh wow, guys, very nice haul. I wonder if there's any more stuff inside the actual cans. See there's, you can see the peering right there. There's the other bar stool, black bar stools. I guarantee you it's the same house. Look at that Chinese lamp though, with the three little like Chinese like lamp thingy my bobbers right there. I don't need it, but that's gorgeous. Let me go in for a closer look. Looks like the bottom of those stools are a little bit dirty, but those are actually really nice stools still. You could shine it up with some like steel wool or something. That's a great set. Super, super sick pickup. I really didn't see anything else. There was like an old junky purse in the white bin, but in the blue bin, there was another like big plastic container. They're definitely cleaning through the house as they unpack. I will be going back there tomorrow night as well. You definitely have to pop on a place like that. If you know a move in is hot and they're organizing, then pounce on it, guys. The only bad part about that sweet score, those were sweet Nikes, guys. They're size 13. Another pair of beautiful Pumas, both of them excellent condition, and then a pair of like dress shoes. Skipped out on that one, but I grabbed the Nikes and Pumas. I wish I was a size 13. Those Air Maxes are sick. Again, we'll grab some footage when I get home, when I put this car in the garage, because I'm gonna be going back out, transporting my guy again tomorrow, making a little extra cheese. So anyway, clean, definitely nice. Guys, look at how good condition these Air Nike Maxes are. They're freaking awesome, man. Nike, look at the bottom of them. They literally look like, I mean, these are solid in this condition. They're a solid nine. Easy nine. Oh my goodness gracious. Now, I thought these were Pumas, guys, but look at this. These are straight pump-up Reeboks. Are you joking me? Look at how good condition these ones are. They literally look like they've been used probably for like maybe like a week or two. I mean, they look absolutely phenomenal. I can clean them up a little bit, you know, but I mean like look at the bottoms of them. They're still white. Looks absolutely, look at the side rails. They look gorgeous, guys. And unfortunately though, those are size. Look at, look at, look at the soles right here. You can see the logos. I mean, look at this. I put a sanitizer wipe in this one, but uh, I mean, the soles look absolutely fantastic, guys. Size 12, bummer. I won't be able to fit in those because those are awesome. Not to mention, if these were my size, I would rock those all day long. Definitely gonna sell both pairs. We're gonna get some good dollars for both sets of that, and I will go back tomorrow for sure. Well, that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be an awesome day. God bless you. God protect you. Remember to carpet you, baby. Live your dream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. That's a wrap. Igor's birthday. That's a wrap. We're done. Uh, good game. Good game, Gachinas. Good game, Gachinas. Uh, that's a wrap. Cut.